right eh uh, okay ra mo dia kay brag mao giapon dagan giapon ang kuan Okay, let me know if you can see the screen. Kita na sir. All right. So uh, this morning or today we're gonna discuss decision making. Uh, and then this is very important we really, because um, in all levels um, and even in our um, day to day lives now we make decisions. So uh, for our topic today we're gonna discuss about this um, methodically how we come up with decisions no? uh, for for us so uh, based on my experience in the industry uh, every day we make decisions in the production line and also where I was assigned before no? um, for example we I was assigned in new product development so uh, every day we have different um, items to be defined and discuss and decide upon. So this is very very relevant uh, when we start working in any field that we work, and when we become more um, active in the role of managers. So this has been a um, parang more more relevant because we become or like there's a lot of things that engineering managers will have to decide that ordinary engineers in the factory or production line or in the field that cannot make uh, for themselves not for the company so usually if we are if we become engineering managers like for example especially for for engineers to become chief executive officers, not like Elon Musk. Uh, I've been uh, sharing this with um, several people now about um, Elon Musk as a background of being, being an engineer. Dato Banatao being an engineer who are also at the same time uh, captains of their companies. Um, day to day, they manage companies uh, and there are a lot of things that they have to decide every day. So, uh, basically, there are long-term decisions, medium-term decisions, and short-term decisions as well, just like um, plans. You know? So we decide based on how we perceive things to, in consideration for long-term plans and something like that. So feel free once again to interrupt me if there are questions. So managers of all kinds and types, including the engineering manager, so there are other kinds of managers, not like hospital directors, they are also managers. So they are tasked to provide leadership with the quest for the attainment of the organization's objectives. We discussed before that we decide or we, uh, every organization set their own respective uh, strategic objectives. Uh, so to move their business forward. So basically, uh, all, all or every organization has its own objectives, uh, especially for business. So, uh, at the end of the year, they define our short-term objectives, long-term or medium-term objectives. Now, for example, for 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 you guys, students, uh, your short-term objectives would be to finish your engineering degree course. No? So that's that's gonna be considered as a short-term um, objective. No? So right before you decide to actually um based on the experience if i may ask uh, before you entered the electronics engineer program i do think that you went through a process of um a lot of the thought process now of thinking what is the best engineering course for you, you know? so you might have decided that well i like electronics engineering so um, or somebody told you, your friends or colleagues, or your, even your parents not to take up uh, electronics engineering. So, so these are some of the things that we do now in our lives. So it's just that uh, when we are now engaged in the business, so there are different kinds of decisions we have to deal with. Now. So first and foremost, we decide based 
no on would would this impact the organization that we are working would this give uh, the best result for now for the organization uh, short term long term or medium term so basically uh, decisions are anchored upon the set objectives so as engineering manager uh, your skills um, how we decide things will be very very crucial now in terms of how we decide things and lead our businesses to become successful and even you, you know, start you now so there are, you trained yourself you now um i don't know if uh, you guys have built already a parang i know already you know upon yourself but na uh, make a decision you you come up with a criteria you no know, we come up with criteria in terms of how you decide things so for example um, upon buying a cell phone or a buying a laptop or buying a PC. So you actually set some criteria no, such that um, at the end of your purchase, you will be happy about your decision and then you feel like you succeed no, because you met your uh, you met your criteria, something like that. No? So um, very crucial in terms of planning at, this, at the same time, uh, making a correct decision no, so that you achieve your um prang, ano, no, set, set objectives so in a way um you would have to lead the the parang yourself to be your own decision maker and you lead the company to a success to, to success so uh, every decision making has its parang ano no nakatay up na whether you gonna succeed or not no, so something like that so that's why we need to really think deep no? so uh, before coming up with a decision because uh, in the business this would either lead the business to failure to losing money or this would lead the business to um, parang to succeed no to become more profitable no? so as engineer, we try to train our minds no, to decide systematically. No, so unlike a lot of people base their decisions on emotions, engineering manager, just the way we were trained uh, in college right now, you guys, so we need to use tools. No? So that's why you're also taught with uh, statistics because somehow that would also help us arrive at the, the best decision no, that we can. Okay? So, kabalo ka nang <laughs> mag-decide, no? Like, for example, you go to a mall, and then actually, what you intend to buy there is just like a pair of shoes. No? So, well, you went there, and then you 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 you, you have different options of shoes, and you decided, and then later on, upon strolling the mall, you saw a new model of like for example a cell phone so you like there was a hype and then uh, the salesperson is really active very good at telling you good things about the cell phone and then out of the blue you end up buying the cell phone so um you were led by your emotions because that is a very nice and at the end of the day you spend money that you don't need actually to spend you know? so so basically, uh, you lose money in a way to things that at that moment you did not actually plan you know, to buy things. So in a way, that's kind of the one of the emotional. You know, that's why window shopping can sometimes lead you to buying things that you don't need. You know? so, so that's one example of um, emotional uh, purchasing that are not planned. You know? So uh, we're not decided earlier on no? so so we have to be careful with that and with with to be, to be a very good engineering manager we need the tools we need uh, to have our parang uh, data no? to for us to arrive at that decision so as i've said no so every time we make good decisions that would lead the companies to a um, success no? uh, even if that is small 
but if you continue to make decisions uh, that would um, somehow um, parang maipon, no? uh, accumulate uh, results, then that would impact the long-term results of the organization. So decisions must be made at various levels in the workplace. So what we're, we're trying to focus here is that when we become future engineering manager, so we need tools how to help us decide no better. So if even so, when you are an early engineer, a junior engineer, or middle engineer, we need to have tools also no, to guide us. And every level, <clears throat> every level has different uh, things to decide upon. No? So if you'll be assigned as an equipment engineer, so from the day-to-day -day basis, uh, our task is to make sure that our um, equipment is up and running if we are an equipment engineer. So if we are a process engineer, we have to make sure that the process now in producing products are um, properly going on. So what happens when there are some problems? So um, if you are an equipment engineer and there is a problem with equipment, that's where the thought process begins in terms of designing. Um, are you going to stop the machine and then uh, decide on fixing it immediately? Or going to stop the machine and then call everybody and then ask your boss to uh, refer to your boss if you're going to stop the entire process because there's one equipment that is being, that, that it's not functioning pretty well and producing bad product or bad products. Now, so every level uh, decisions are, are, I don't know, uh, expected. So uh, for us uh, in the management, uh, in terms of managing risks, managing um, parang, uh, I don't know, um, managing situations in the workplace. So we have to be conscious about um, will this decision um, improve the situation or will this decision lead to the destruction or so somehow further downtime of um, the process or the production. So, so we have to be conscious about that. And then usually, as engineering manager, we don't decide. No? So immediately, once we see a problem, we need to conduct study why it's happening or something like that. So, so I mentioned about emotional judgment. No? So we don't decide no, on our future. We don't decide on situations that sometimes we are emotionally, our emotions are very high. Like you are very frustrated. You're very angry. Now, so you have to set that apart now in terms of deciding things. Now, so even if like we are in the workplace and a lot of dissatisfaction and disappointments are happening, so we have to control our emotions and go back to how we can make decisions better. Now. So this is one of the things that we are going to make. So... Uh, decision making may be defined as a process of identifying, choosing alternative actions of action in a manner appropriate to the demands of the situation. So here it's very specific now the process of identifying and choosing alternative courses of action. So does that mean that if you are presented with a given situation or scenario and somebody said, sir, a solution is rugby ragged or to stick no or glue ragged meaning to say what are other available options for us no to consider to solve this particular problem no? so what comes to our mind first may not be the best solution at all may not be the best solution uh, at that part for that particular problem so that's why we need to define no so ano ano ba yung ano um, alternative courses of action natin. So that when we weigh down things, we get the best um, option no, to for that particular uh, problem or situation we are in. So I mentioned that um, decisions are being made no, in the different levels, management levels. So also, not only the president can make a decision, no, even us in the lower ranks, 
in the university, we have to make our own decisions now in our respective offices. Now we cannot just, uh, for example, my office now the, as a director of the technology transfer and licensing office, I cannot always ask uh, my president, the president, um, sir, how how we gonna solve this problem, sir? Uh, do you approve of this plan? No? So basically, we make decisions at our levels and then recommend decisions to the president. No? That's what we always do. No? So meaning to say, it's not entirely that the president will have to think of the alternative actions, but we in the middle management will also have to make or come up with alternative courses of actions and then decide for ourselves and then uh, send the recommendation to the president. If he likes it, go and if he doesn't have, if he has a lot of questions then you may have to present more data to him so something like that so it's also the same thing in managing in the the family you no know, decision making like for example purchasing a new tv purchasing a new aircon in the house you know, so deciding upon what kind of tv do we need to for us to purchase you know, so uh, is um so how many are we in the family? Is this gonna be placed in the room or is this gonna be placed in the sala? No? So, so TV, even with that, no? so uh, yeah, so how many TVs do we need to buy? Uh, one for the sala or one for the room, something like that. No? So every day, unconsciously, we are presented with um, things that needs our decision. No? So, uh, for example, um, mo travel ba ko or mo deposit ba ko? Sa, a lot of things. No? So, so, siguro sa inyo sa, when you are still in school. No? So, um, option could be like in what particular um, dormitory or boarding house you're gonna stay. So, so somehow unconsciously you try to parang define certain criteria no on sa classing a boarding house akong pilian no ayan na so just as an example for uh, decision making being made while you are a student so decision making is the heart of all the management functions right even when we plan things we plan things there there can be a plan no and then sometimes when we plan there are a lot of options as well no so so what we do is that select the best plan, uh, the best course of action not to proceed with that plan. So many to say every aspect, day to day and all kinds of activities. Uh, so uh, in a company uh, needs to be planned and needs to be decided upon. So for example, right now, um, there is about as electronics engineer, we are updated with what is happening in our field now for example there is an upcoming telco third telco no ang dito telecommunity so apart from globe and smart this will be the third telco now um we're gonna be making decisions as subscriber am i gonna purchase dito or gonna i am gonna shift shift our um internet connection to dito because dito is offering 50% off, no? 50% compared to the existing subscription. No? So somehow in the family, we have to make decisions, something like that. No? So yeah, so there is no escaping in, in terms of mis making decisions. All right, so for us um, as engineers, this is, um, for us, these are the key terms though, that we need to, for example, um, this is kind of the steps or the key terms, keywords that uh, we should be familiarized with so that we will come up with a better decision, no? better decision and or a better decision making process. Now, this is not in order now. So this is according to David Holtz. No? So the process, uh are are indicated but then these actually keywords here are not made in order so guys um radian what do you think is the how how do we should order this all right so can you put in the chat 
what should come first? Would that be evaluate and adopt decision results, analyze the environment, develop viable alternative, evaluate alternatives, implement decisions, diagnose the problem, make a choice, articulate problem or opportunity. If you guys would be tasked to rearrange this now, okay, because this is not an order, this should be the first step you know, in this process. So, on sa So, um, for five minutes, can you rearrange this um, and put in the chat what should come first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh? Can you do that for, for me? All right. Can, can, uh, yeah. So, please, can, can you do that? No? So, um, five to ten minutes when, when you're done with the chat. Uh, yeah, so please write your answer now on the chat if, it, if that's okay. Okay, what should be the first step, uh, Radian? Uh, what should be the first guy? Okay. Kanisha, this is not, I don't know, this is not mixed. I mean, this is not parang made uh, into order. So, yeah, halo halo nisha. So, what should be the first step? Okay. Okay, second step, third step, fourth step, fifth step, sixth step. So there are eight here. So what do you think should how do you should how do we order uh, this step? Siguro ang first sir kay kuan evaluate and adapt decision result. Okay. Then analyze the environment. So dili dili na sa order uh, region ah. Gihalo halo na ko ni. Pero what do you think it should be done? When we are faced with a given situation, what should be the first step for us? Um, mag evaluate ba ta dayon? Evaluate. Evaluate kung goro ang pinakaunan, sir. Okay. Uh, what mag evaluate. should be evaluated? Ang um, kuan? Ang adapt. Ang um, variable alternatives, then adapt. A decision result, then analyze the environment. Ay, napatay. Then develop a viable alternatives, then... Ay, kan. Articulate. Articulate, Goro, sir. Pinakaon na. Teka, teka, nga, sige. Ah, kadali, ha? Teka, teka, na. Ot. Teka, kadali, ha? Ot. Numa. Oi. Ah, uh, naka share, share screen ba ko? Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh let's go back uh media na. So, what do you think should be the first step? Answer, articulate problem or opportunity. Okay. The next for you would be kaan evaluate alternatives. Okay, next. And then evaluate and adapt decision result. Okay, next. Then analyze the environment. Okay. Then diagnose the problem. Okay. Then develop alternatives. Okay. And implement decision, then make a choice, then sir. All right. So let's see, Raja, no, if you match the no, how many items you match. No? So for yourself, yeah, you look at I'm gonna share with you the the correct answers that David Holtz formulated no in terms of coming up with a rational decision making. Okay. So okay, I, sir. Hope, I hope you hit more than 50%. Okay. <laughs> uh, so Okay, uh, here's the process 
should be the process, no? So, in making up rational decision making, the first thing now, according to him, uh, to the author of the book, no? so we need to diagnose the problem. No? So, according to him. So, there will be a separate discussion for this. But let me show you the order, you know. So, diagnose the problem. Analyze the environment. So first of foremost, like you stand there, what is happening? Why is this happening in this particular machine or something a problem? No, something something like that. And then you articulate the problem. Why is this going on? Why why is this product uh, are are being rejected? No. So now, when you kind of uh, sure, like about the problem, because your your thought process is being supported with data as well. No, so uh, like you come up with a hypothesis. No, how why this problem is happening? Then somehow thought about that uh, problem, and then you come up with the viable alternative that you think would solve the particular problem. So, meaning to say, murag na gunawa na nga siguro ang problema mao gini siya. So, unya, nga no ka, naitabo ni nga problema. Unsa kay problema gito no, dani no? Kinsa may nag-contribute ni nga problema. So, sometimes we examine that by asking ourselves, why, 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 why? So, why, 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 why? Five W's, five Y's. So, may tabu ni siya. Nga naman. So, yung nana. So, we ask ourselves. So, then, develop viable alternatives. This is mean. This means that what are the options we have not to solve this problem? Okay? So, that kind of entails uh, listing. No? Then, we evaluate the alternatives. And based on the evaluation of the alternatives, you kind of well, this is the best alternative or option that we have. And then we decide. You know? So this is it. And then we implement the course of action that is needed you know, based on that decision. All right? So we implement. And then later on, we see or we check you know, if our decision is correct or not. You know? Or were we able to actually hit the actual problem? You know? Because... Uh, based on my experience in the industry before, we do this process, but somehow when we went to the evaluation process already, we wala magyapo na solve the problem, still existing. So that means we are not able to actually articulate the problem very properly. So if we failed in that uh, regard, that means we are uh, proposing a solution that actually did not solve the problem and perhaps even worse no even worse um added more problems no to the to the process so unsa unsa man sila no so let's discuss one at a time no us really emphasize no the the decision making process so diagnosing the problem so if a manager wants to make an intelligent decision so his first move must be to identify the problem, the correct problem. You know, so I keep on repeating this because a lot of failures in the production or even in our lives. You know, so we don't actually see the real problem, and somehow personally, we won't even I don't know even even parang. Um, accept that that is the problem. You know, so mau pun problema. No, we don't accept that that is actually the problem. No, so we need to identify the real problem. Then if we fail, it's being said here, it's very difficult not to solve the problem. Once we were able to actually identify the correct problem, then that is tantamount no, to having the problem half solved. That means that if we just hit the, the correct problem, then ah, okay, then we're actually 50% done, you know, something like that. You know, so we're 50% done because the other 50% is for us to actually do, execute you know, the solution to that particular problem. 
But if we have a problem, and then that is not the correct problem, and then we go introducing a solution that is not the actually hitting the right problem, then we spend resources already that will not actually solve the problem. So, mura po na sa doctor ba? No, sa doctor. So, I relate to this to my wife's profession. So if my wife will not be able to diagnose, not to diagnose the symptoms being given or diagnose the inherent or the underlying problem of the patient. So for example, na ay mga, di ba, kung na ay mga problema, ang una gita na yung ginatawag nila nga mga, kung saan nga may nga symptoms, no? So for example, sa itong situation today, so na ba kay ubo? Okay, ubo. Yes or no? Yes. Na kay fever? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, naka-smell pa ba ka? Yes or no? No. So, hindi nakakapalala. So, um, sakit ng mga lawas. Sige, kalibanga ba ka? O ginakalibanga ba ka? Sige, baka kalibanga. Yes or no? Yes. So, kung saan na ang mga symptoms, Radian? Kung saan na siya ang symptoms? Are you familiar with those symptoms? COVID, sir. COVID, exactly. <laughs> so, you write there in then immediately because you are trying to diagnose exactly the problem. So, you can say, okay, so this is perhaps COVID no? because they're showing everything. No? So, so, the first parang hypothesis, nimo, this is COVID, so, right? So, you you have diagnosed the problem. No? So, so, that is really something that you you, you at the top of your list now, the main problem is COVID. Okay, so let us put that that way. No? So, diazada. So, analyze the environment. Uh, the environment where the organization is situated plays a very significant role in the success or failure of an organization. Therefore, very important that analysis of the environment may be undertaken. Now, you might be questioning, okay, no, analyzing the environment. Asa mga nga barangay day? Where do you live? And what particular barangay? So, naarap ako sa barangay Ampayon. Doc, naarap ako sa barangay Ampayon, Doc. Alright, so, based on information, statistics, daghan baka ayo COVID cases din na sa Ampayon. No? So, something like that. No? that. That's your environment. That's where the patient is uh, presently uh, be, being held, no? or <coughs> um, presently residing. No? So, it's kind of what kind of environment do we have here? And so, looking at that. So, um, internal and external. So, say organization of God is, we refer the internal organization as the people, the, the workplace that we are in. So, those are the internal. External is, for example, if you have competitors, your suppliers. No? So, those are considered as external. No? So, so, if you have limitations, so, Meaning to say, sa balay pagid na to, no? sa balay pagid. So, naabay, mutana na po ng doktor. No? So, do you have somebody in the house that has the same symptoms as you before you have these symptoms? No, may nga na ng mga questions. No? So, that is internal environment. So, katong ganiya, ginigong na kung uh, is in your barangay, dagan bag cases as a COVID, that's the external environment. So, this is analyzing, no, diagnosing the problem, and then analyzing the environment, kind of. No? So, you, you need to take into this consideration no, before really even coming up with the, the ano, no? so uh, even uh, coming up with the decision nga, COVID yun eh. No? So, perhaps in your mind, oh, na nasa, no? so, gandagandagan na nasa mga nga, <coughs> COVID, COVID ni kay, mawag ito symptom, giobo, gilantan, Ah, uh, gihilantan ang hilanat, ah, uh, nila nilalagnat. <laughs> Tapos ah, uh, smell problems, no, cannot smell and then uh, diarrhea, those of those are really champion no, of the, the symptoms. Uh, we don't jump immediately, so we we really being led to analyzing the environment. So this is the beauty of this process, no? So as an engineering manager or even a rational uh, so even if you're a rational decision maker, you may not be an you may not be an engineer, but a rational decision maker. These are the things, no? So that we need to follow. That's why there are a lot of people making decisions right there and then, and then oftentimes make mistakes, no? Because they don't 
they don't like they just they just make decisions right there and then no ngana sa but here we need to have a rational decision making so for example katong <coughs> when i i was constructing this house now na was balay so unsa yung mga decision nga kinanglan no kanang materials suppliers sa materials okay so asa man dito ka makakita og kanang kuan so i decide mo palit baka og materials directly from manila or dire lang sa butuan no that's one okay so manila barato barato gid sila dito kay dito man ang main main supply dire medyo mahal mahal na but when you buy in manila the other concern there is well of course shipping shipping cost pila po na shipping cost so, ano ano so these are the things so for us to make decisions all right so ako na ning discuss no na internal and external um, environment kung internal so so organization ato ng aspect so of course sa to among good uh, in the internal in the internal environment like in the business entity no so we have um personnel of course the people working in the business in in the, in the company we have the production aspect so not necessarily the people only but the facility the equipment the materials the products the inventory of the products that you have financial aspects like money 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 like do you have when you say liquidity do you have enough cash on hand no so like for example in the pandemic time so how how are you gonna manage this the internal situations you have no so something like that so in the business uh, dako kayo kaning decision no nga process dako kayo ni siyang impact yun um, for example Cebu Pacific so when we they were hit during the pandemic right there and then immediately all contract was this is uh, Cebu Pacific made the decision no, na right there and then immediately Cebu Pacific contract was lay off because they know that this pandemic they're forecasting it nya it may take a long time and then katong mga tao nga kontrakto wala ay trabaho then they will continue to pay then that will be a cost to the company sad to say they have to lay off no so ingana and then profitability no so that would affect the profitability of the company if they're not gonna do some layoffs no? so uh, remember it again in as engineering manager now your sole purpose there is to make the fact of the, the company profitable over a long term. Otherwise, if the company continues to fail and then lose profits, lose business all the time, then there will be no business at all. No? So, so many to say, oh, everybody, no? imagine Globe Telecoms, Magsara. No? So how many engineers, electronics engineers are there? No? So the purpose is to make the company profitable all the time and decision making is a big part of that no? uh, uh, I said mentioned I mentioned already this uh, external environment and give you an example about the COVID thing no? internal and external so can you mind on any external uh, internal limitations this is true no if um limited funds available for the purchase of equipment material supply this kind of uh, problems may exist and then the decision on how to tackle these problems will always be on the shoulders sorry on the shoulders of the engineering manager but it doesn't necessarily mean that all the thinking process would be on the engineering manager so you might be asking questions now if you're a democrat like we have different kinds of leadership not types of leadership or the individual leadership skills now i may ask my colleagues or my colleagues no uh, other engineering managers or those people under me that all right we have we are faced with this kind of problem what do you think how can we solve this problem so meaning to say soliciting ideas coming from them but at the end of the day it is not them but it is you as engineering manager that will make the final decision and then recommend them that to the upper management. No? So at the end of the day, it is your responsibility as manager to make decisions for the company. 
to make decisions for the office. <laughs> now, as director of the office, I do that. Uh, I have done that many times now. Uh, and then, of course, if that will yield result, the president will be happy for you. But then if it, that will not yield a very good result, then somehow your president will be asking a lot of questions. Why did that happen or not? You know, so something like that. Right, external limitations are follows, no? so patents are controlled by other organizations. So these are kind of businesses no? like business decisions. Um, patents meaning to say if you have, if you are going to develop a company, remember there's a patent war ongoing between Apple and Samsung and then, well, you, can, you just have to look into your decision. No? Na, if there are other organizations' patents from other organizations, that will impact no impact your capability of, as engineering manager to develop no uh, product why because if there is a product already in other organization you cannot just simply copy those products that are existing already no you have to have create no so meaning to say or the influences no of outside uh, of outside the organizations that we are in may impact the inside the internal um internal progress internal processes in the organization okay. engineering firm and its external environment so if we are engineering firm so the external environment if we're a company there are a lot of uh, other external environment so one is government the policies of the government uh suppliers banks this becomes our partners or, uh, I don't know, or the competitors that we have. So they are outside our organization. Yeah, so <clears throat> um, when we, we come up with the company business decisions, I understood this when I was already like, I began my career in NXP or Philip Semiconductors at the age of 21. No? So I was working then. And somehow three, four, five years after that, I kind of understood you know, the business process you know, because Philips is a multinational or is a international organization. Somehow I, I have a better understanding of how a company works. You know? So um, establishing a company actually uh, doesn't give you the, all the rights you know, because you have all your competitors no? so that's why nokia in the cell phone business nokia their competitors are of course apple samsung no? so nokia before they're the kind of king the king no of the mobile phones Harry Sela, they're leading the global supply of the mobile phones they keep on introducing different kinds of software and products and they've not been able to anticipate no or anticipate the innovations of the cell phones and here comes iphone or apple company so their competitors so they were not able to anticipate that and they were not able to catch up with apple so what happened then was they were beaten no, by apple and then that led led to nikia to close their company somehow no and being sold to microsoft although right now they're trying to come back you know something like that so it's very important no, the external outlook, no, the external considerations when we make decisions as well. Okay. So developing viable alternatives. Okay. Oftentimes problems may be solved by, in, by any of the solutions offered, right? So perhaps the first thing that comes up to your mind, okay, that must solve the problem, right? Well and good. But the best among the alternative solutions must be considered by the management. So basically for me, there should be at least three viable options, viable alternatives. Three, at least three. So this is made possible by using a procedure with the following steps. Prepare a list of alternative solutions, right? So for example, for you, Ridian, and for you guys, um, Choosing the school that you want to go to. What were those schools? So here in Butuan City, you're going to select Butuan, uh, Caraga State University, SGIT, 
uh, FSUU, no? Although we, when we say ECE, you no? Know? But if you want to go, if you are in Manila and then you'll be taking course ECE, so there are a lot of viable alternatives, no? Or there are a lot of alternatives for you, like uh, the LSU, uh, Ateneo de Manila, UP, Mapua University, um, Far Eastern University, UST. So there are a lot of schools that you can go to or select from. No? So as your alternative for choosing the university that you're going to. Now, determine the viability of which solutions. Now, uh, also my constraint, what is the internal constraint? No, in, internal limitations for you. What could what would that be? Uh, basically, money. No? So money, for example, money. Going to college, the limitations oftentimes is money. So, which among these schools? No? So, so, the LSU and Manila, uh, Ateneo de Manila, well, they're per semester now is I think around 150,000 pesos no, per semester. So every year you're gonna spend 300,000 pesos. So if that is, so we need to say we're trying to come up with that, no, no, but that, that's, the, that's the list. No? So Ateneo de Manila, the LSU, UP de Liman, Papua University, UST, San Papamantasa, Lusod de Manila, or TIP, uh, Technological Institute of the Philippines, or Technological University of the Philippines. So these are universities in Manila that offers electronics engineering. So there you go. You have a list. So you need to determine the viability of the solution. All right. Uh, I will just uh, hang up there. No? So I leave that example no, for, for the schools. Uh, for, for, for the schools, guys. So this is just uh, one um, typical case in a manufacturing environment uh, to illustrate an engineering firm has a problem of increasing its output. Uh, so this is a problem. This is the result of new agreement between the firm and one of its clients. Okay, The list of solutions being prepared by the engineering manager so the following alternative courses of action. One, is to improve the capacity of the firm by hiring more workers and building additional facilities. To secure the services of subcontractors. Three, buy the needed additional output from another firm. Or four, stop serving some of the company's customers. And five, uh, delay servicing some clients. Now, so the main problem here being emphasized, Ray, is that um, we need to increase our production output by 30%. So, we need to say, this is good business, no? This is good business. Okay, the, there is a strong demand from our customer not to provide 30% more. And as an engineering manager, we treat this as a very good news because um, after all, uh, this would somehow translate to profit. You know? So. So the capacity, however, is being challenged. So this is now the list. No? So how na to no? to address this demand no? or problem? Okay. So among the five, okay, number one, basically, obviously, ako naman na sulat na I've written this already. Stop serving some of the company's customers. Uh, it's a big no, no. So, if you have a customer, we always have to satisfy the customer. As a student, who is our customer? Ranger, may I ask? For you studying as a student, who is your customer? Instructor, sir. Okay, one, that's one. Who are the other customers that you think um, paying for you to be able to go to school? Parents. Okay, parents, no? So, so, when you have good grades, who will be happy? Parents, sir, parents. Parents, no? Are, will, your instructor will be happy if you have 1.5, 1.25? Maybe, sir. I know, personally, as a professor, as an instructor, as a teacher, no, I would be happy. Of course, we're very happy. That's my attitude. No? So that's why I'm also, I know, um, dili puko take mangata o grado because I want my also kids to appreciate and return the favor of the hard work they put in in the subject. 
No, so that's why I also give good grades. No, so because I want my students to be happy as well. No, so, so if those guys are happy, then that would make our lives happier, right? So for the company, of course, we don't want to delay the service no? <laughs> because that would that would frustrate our customer. No? So. If you go to a um, Jollibee store and then um, the expectation of Jollibee, McDonald's, Chow King, these are fast food, no fast food um, companies. So the, the expectation is that they have to serve food as fast as they can. So meaning to say, when you lie there and order food, dapat, the waiting time should be at least five minutes. Uh, should that be more than five minutes? So ten minutes is even and ano, so many to say there should be a time time ano ba, na, because this is a fast food this is not a restaurant no so you know not you know not the difference though if you go to um, a restaurant like for example uh if you go to a restaurant like Jerry's Grill no Jerry's Grill so sa Jerry's Grill restaurant man siya, you have to sit down and then you open the menu look into the menu, and then that's the only time that they will cook the food. So, um, yeah, lag, no lag because of the internet. So that's how, that's how you do it. You order the food from the menu, no? So, so there can be at times that the differences between those two services. So, so fast, fast food, do get your food. Anyway, that's the point. <laughs> Now, there are only three left, no? Number one, two, and three. So, what is the best thing for you, Radian? And guys, what is the best thing for you to, the best mode for you to satisfy this requirement? What do you think? Improve capacity of the firm by hiring more workers and builders additional facility, sir. Right. So, there are three left, no? Number one, two, and three. So among the three choices, alternative actions. So these are the valuable alternatives. So, so initially, what comes to your mind would be the best for these alternatives? Number one, sir. Okay, that is number one. Okay, let's park it there, right? Let's park it there. So the next step, so decision making process is to evaluate the evaluate the alternatives. Okay, let's pause it there. Okay, ato sa tungi park no. So after we determine the viability of the alternatives, a revised list has been made, evaluation remaining, proper evaluation should be done in choosing the right solutions. All right, so is this even here? All right, so let's go back to this example, okay? Because now we're trying to evaluate the alternative. Okay? So we, we do the evaluation. Also, um, long term, number one, improve the capacity of the firm by hiring more workers and building additional facilities. Now, the question here is that we go back no, to the process. So, ang problema na to is we need to increase the capacity by 30%. No? So, karon actually, that is the problem. So, we have to diagnose and articulate the problem properly ready yeah, no so can you bang 30% nga output the question next question would be is this gonna be a permanent or temporary so sabtan mo ready yan base ba ganing request nga output nga capacity is 30% this might be good only for one month two months three months and after that we go back to the normal all right so that would serve as part of the basis for our decision no? now that is part of scanning the environment asking questions to the the to our parang ano no? parang to our customer to our partner to our clients this might this will have an impact because number one so if we hire more workers and then build infra because grabe kinala ni ginato ni so invest to say uh, option number one would require a lot of money. Okay, maghire mong tao, so employee, and then build mong facilities. 
And what if the 30% requirement is only good for one month? So, meaning to say, sayang kaya ang building, right? Uh, for short term, that might not be the solution. So, really, the question is to the clients, is this going to be a long-term 30% um, requirement or just a short term? So, well and good if long-term, no? because you can commit to these requirements for number one. So, that's how you evaluate now. No? So, that's why it's very important to diagnose, to articulate the problem. Because if we exactly get the right problem and articulate the problem very well, we can respond no? efficiently. That means with a very minimum cost compared to spending a lot of money and going them to waste if we have not considered nga, oh, short term naman di any. No? So if that is going to be a short term, then we can establish partnership. No? That's through the subcontractors. So subcontractors may be, they're making the same product as we are and we are partners and then they're happy to do this for us 30% uh, for one month alone. And this will minimize the cost. You know? Will minimize the cost. But if it's gonna be like every month, every year, it's happening 30% and then sometimes it's not only 30% anymore but 50%. So that's the time uh, this the, the company Engineering manager might have to decide, no, the, the boss of the company might have to decide. Maybe we need to really expand because statistics show that for the last five years, our normal production or requirements from the clients are over 30%. Now, something like that. No? So that's where we can make our decision. So buy the needed additional output from another firm. All right. So this can be an option. Okay. So, as a day drain, no? so buy the needed additional output from another firm. So, that can be an option. So, meaning to say, we need just to evaluate and see for ourselves what is the best course of action that we can do for, 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 for us. So evaluate after determining the viability of the alternatives and the revised list has been made. So, coming from five, we reduce two, and then now we have only two, maybe two options, and then out of the two options, what should be the best? So that's that's the evaluation. So we need to understand the associated cost. Okay, cost number one, cost is all the time the consideration. No cost. Second, what are the risks associated with this? No uh, risks. So the value, uh, value meaning to say, ang, ang risk katungan risk you know, what if? One month, two months lang ang 30% and then that's it. So there is a very high risk nga. You're putting a lot of capital into that um, option one na action na dili manday siya for long term. No? So profitability wise, that will affect your company. So, right? Ingonana siya no? when you decide. So I hope pretty end, guys. Uh, you need to really consider these things no, in your mind that there should be a thought process. You should not make decisions as far as pwede pa lang yun, ginalista, ginato na. So, lista na to na. So, what is the cost? What is the cost for each of the options available? What are the values that's gonna or the benefits that's gonna provide to us? So, meaning to say you create a matrix now. And then, what are the risks? So, you need to think or your team, no, your engineers. What are the, the, the risks? So, na na siya. All right. Um, okay. All right. So, this is where we are now, no? So, evaluation. So, evaluate our alternatives. Okay. So, we need to come up with a very good decision of based on the value of cost, cost and the risk characteristic. Okay. Right. So, dilin na ko nini ko na, no? So, um, uh, the way example. So, going back to the schools, Radian, or in guys, um, studying Manila, which particular schools or university, you know, you, you're gonna end up with. So, First and foremost, if cost is the number one driver, you can consider a very good university, but with a lesser cost. Gamay lang money. 
So among the list, makit ane mo nga well first of all you need to remove the LSU at the New York Manila UST Mapua University because these are private schools, no? So expensive school. So on sa mga bilin ang ang mga kwa na lang, no? Ang UP Diliman and then TUP, no? TUP Manila. So may lain nga state university ka offer sa Manila o GCE. Uh, TIP. TIP is actually a private. No? So, TUP and um, UP. Diliman. Alright? So, those are the two schools that I can think of na maragsikat-sikat. No? So, so, with that, you're down now to your um, ano, list no? because you evaluated na money man ng constraint. Niya. You want to go to a quality school pero barato siya. So, I think this is the same process you did, you know, with your family when choosing which university you should go to. All right, this is just an example. No? Um, engineering managers faced with a problem of choosing between three applicants to fill up a loan vacancy for a junior engineer. You will have to set up a certain criteria for evaluating the participant applicants. If the evaluation is not done by a professional human resource officer, then the engineer manager will be forced to use a predetermined criteria. So that's why, see here, there is a criteria para siyang matrix evaluation sheet no, pag may nag-apply. So junior engineer, uh, date of evaluation or something like this. So very particular sa education. No? So there is an applicant. There are applicants. Um, Number one, there is education. Two is training. Number three is experience. And age is fourth. So in terms of those criteria, no? so pinaka premium ang education training. So minito say, so they they were ranked according to this, and it comes out or it uh, resulted to Mr. Dante de la Cruz achieving the highest points. So based on this evaluation, so ingon ano siya. So we make a criteria and then look into that. So more than it was. So if we can just do this even personal matters, no, in personal matters, this will be very, very valuable. This is not just when we go to the um, business already. No? Individually, can ang nasa balay. No, I do this, I do this process. To, to tell you honestly, I do this. No? So, Mona si Mrs. Maglago to say sa ako, kay dugay kayo ko ka-design. You know, because I have to consider all these things. No? Compare, comparison, um, analytic nga approach no? with respect to decision making. So I hope uh, it's almost time na ready yan. No? So, um, we'll, we'll end the here. I hope um, you will do this um, mentally, no? mentally, Consciously, I mean, um, do this in your respective um, homes or your personal lives and hopefully come up with a decision. So I would always say do not be persuaded by emotions when we have to make decisions. Okay, sir. Uh, for example, nag-away mo si mong uyab. Bulag na ta, bulag. Bulag na yun. <laughs> Ayaw, dili magpadala sa emotion. Meaning to say, we have to think it over. No? So, dili magpadala sa emotion right there and then. So maybe, palipasan sa ngaway, then you don't think, you go through the process na, ibuk ba 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 ito? Dili, wala makiksabot pag diagnose, sir. Ah, uh, so, ang nga na, sa unsa mag itinood, problema, ang nga na, madara ba na, bulag na yun. So, sulbaron na yung problema, unsa niya na problema. Scanning them. You go to that process. No, you go to that process. <laughs> Sa tinawag lang, no, kanigid ang pinaka-practical na uh, kuhaan yun, Lydian, and guys, no, uh, you can learn from, no, from this subject, uh, how to make decisions. Practical decisions, no, because uh, unlike calculus, trigonometro, algebra, you might not be needing them in their personal life, in your career, no. These things, guys, you will be bringing this up. So I hope you will not forget about this. So although we're not done yet, but ang ako ang gina-emphasize is this is the process. This is the process. Okay, sir. Right? 
So, okay. we'll end up here, part one. Uh, we'll continue. Teka ha, sandali ha. Uh, we continue to the next meeting. No? So, I'll announce the, ano, based on the schedule as well. Alright, guys. Okay.